A Texas lawmaker is pushing to ban social media for anyone under the age of 18. Now, if he gets his way, that means parents won't have the choice whether to allow their kids to create an account on any platform. Let's bring in Republican State Representative Jared Patterson, who's joining us live now. Thank you so much uh, for your time. Uh, you compare this to the tobacco industry from the 60s, mm -hmm. meaning, you know, we didn't quite know the dangers back then. Why is a ban from the government necessary with your bill? Yeah, well, I think that we have a health epidemic in this country, and it's not a virus from China. It is our kids dropping like flies, killing themselves, um, you know, self-harm, suicide rates are through the roof. Uh, suicide rates actually declined until 2007, and they tripled since. All the while, our youth have, have exploded on social media. And so there are major, major issues, and parents don't stand a chance against these machine learned, artificial intelligent um, algorithms that take our kids down these dangerous rabbit holes on social media. What are you hearing so far from your fellow lawmakers, even those who aren't in your party? Are, are people on board with this? I believe that we're gonna have broad bipartisan support for this. Uh, you know, we look, this is not the first time in history. Everyone thought that smoking uh, was medicinal or healthy or acceptable uh, until 1964 and the Surgeon General's report came out. The social media companies have done their own research and concluded that it's extremely harmful for minors uh, and yet they do nothing about it. And so it's time for the state of Texas to step in and protect our children. And what do you say to parents who feel like it's their job to decide what their kids mm -hmm. can do and cannot do and, and, and not the government's? Yeah, that's a great point. Look, I'm the fifth most conservative member of the Texas House. I have fought for the past year for parental rights as it relates to sexually explicit materials in schools. But again, I would say that this isn't new. You know, we would say that every American has uh, Second Amendment rights, but we don't allow eight-year-olds to go in and buy handguns. Kids can't buy alcohol, tobacco. Um, it's time that we start taking their mental health as seriously as we do their physical well-being, and that starts with banning minors from social social media this next session. All right, so just to make sure we understand what's happening here, under your bill, the social media companies would be liable if they allow an underage person to sign up? That's right. We need to empower the Attorney General to go after these companies that are targeting our kids, and this bill is a way to do that. So how, how would it work? How would they be banned? Because it, it seems like kids always find a workaway around mm -hmm. something, so how, how would it work? Well, there is a requirement for a photo ID to be uploaded to the uh, social media company system for them to verify, uh, and then they would be uh, forced to delete that information. But, you know, I've heard concerns about a photo ID, but let's keep in mind these user agreements that they have. They have access to every digital image in your phone. Some of them have access to every keystroke that you make on your device, um, the location services, and all the rest of it. So, um, you know, photo ID to, to start a, uh, a social media uh, account, and then, you know, it's off to the races from there. Well, as a medical reporter, I can tell you, and it's very difficult to, to argue against this, that mental health of teenagers has gone down since they got on social media. And, and do you feel like that this will really pass? I mean, is there really a chance that this could happen? Because as a mom, I feel like it would be the best thing that ever happened to our kids, but I know they're going to fight it. Yeah, I mean, look, the entire system is set up to kill bills on the Texas legislature. So, you know, it's, it's practically impossible to pass any bill. Um, and this is, you know, a new frontier that we're looking at. But you know, when the Wall Street Journal did their study, you know, they registered as a 13-year-old on TikTok. They were shown 569 videos glorifying drug use, including cocaine and meth, promotional videos for the online sale of drugs, and more than 100 videos from accounts recommending paid pornography sites. This is a serious issue, and the social media companies are doing nothing about it, and the state of Texas is going to step in and protect our children. All right. Well, the next legislative session starts next month, the 88th one. Representative Jared Patterson from Frisco, thank you so much for joining us here on Houston's Morning Show to talk about your bill that has a lot of people talking. Mm -hmm. Have a great well, week. Thank you. Or weekend. Thank you, and God bless you.